Number 9. Aerial Bomb Last year, construction workers found a World War II era bomb in the foundation pit of a building in St. Petersburg, Russia. With an apartment complex nearby, it was important to remove the explosive as quickly and as carefully as possible. Experienced specialists from the country's Ministry of Emergency Situations reported to the site. They worked through the night, tying ropes around the bomb and delicately lifting it from the hole using a crane. It was then placed on a vehicle and driven to a military training ground where it was destroyed. It's rare to encounter such large-caliber bombs, according to a statement from the ministry. Even though it was removed by a qualified team, working with it came with a colossal risk. It's not entirely uncommon for explosives from past wars to appear decades after the conflict has ended. But sometimes, dangerous devices are deliberately left in places where they put people's safety at risk. This appeared to be the case recently when a giant white missile was found outside a police station in Ayrshire County, Scotland. Several streets were shut down for hours, blocking people from getting into their homes and businesses while experts assessed the situation. Thankfully, they managed to remove the weapon without incident. Number 8. Pluto's Gate The Plutonian at Hierapolis, or Pluto's Gate for short, is an ancient temple dedicated to Pluto, the Roman god of death and the ruler of the underworld. Located in modern-day Turkey, the site was rediscovered in 1965. Nobody knows exactly how old Pluto's Gate is, but it's located near the ruins of Hierapolis, which date back to 190 BC, so it's like it was built around at the same time. People used to gather at this so-called Gate to Hell and watch as animals were led into a cave to their deaths. The crowd creatures let out pained screams until they fell to the floor and went silent. This meant that Pluto's breath had killed them. Visitors weren't allowed to get too close to the entrance. Instead, they were encouraged to buy live animals and put them in an enclosed area nearby so they could see for themselves that Pluto's breath really did kill anyone who went near it. Until relatively recently, experts didn't know how the animals died. While excavating the site, they noticed that birds sometimes fly into the cave and drop dead, courtesy of toxic carbon dioxide gas that seeps up into the cave from underground. Yikes. Only one person fits inside the cave. A staircase leads down to the area where the deadly CO2 emits from within the earth. The cave was sealed after Christianity arrived in the region and condemned the worship of Pluto. Sometime during the 6th century, an earthquake destroyed the temple, and today, the site is in ruins. Archaeologists announced in 2017 that they hope to eventually open the property to visitors, albeit with some restrictions on how close they could get to the fatal cave entrance. Which is understandable, all things considered, but do you really think it's a good idea to open something called the Gate of Hell? Number 7. Naked Black Holes when a star dies, it collapses in on itself, creating a region of density known as a black hole. In simple terms, the gravitational pull is so great that a black hole consumes anything and everything that comes within a certain distance of it. Once an object crosses a boundary known as an event horizon, it's gone past the point of no return. It'll never escape and will inevitably get sucked into the black hole. At the center of a black hole is a region of density called a singularity. When it comes to singularities, the laws of physics go right out the window. They're strong enough to pull things in faster than the speed of light, meaning that even light can't escape their gravity. An object would need to travel at least the speed of light to have any hope of escaping, and that simply isn't possible. Some scientists believe that the universe contains so-called naked black holes that lack an event horizon. Research published in late 2020 explains that based on the math of general relativity, this is entirely possible. A singularity without an event horizon would be even more dangerous than a standard black hole. With no clearly defined boundary, there would be no buffer zone to keep a black hole's activity separated from everything outside of it, making it much more accessible to everything around it. The concept of naked black holes seems to go against nature, but physicists haven't been able to prove that they don't exist. Even if these terrifying borderless voids truly exist, experts believe they're rare. 
Extreme conditions would be required for one to form. According to one theory, a typical black hole would have to spin fast enough to create a second event horizon. The two event horizons would then cancel each other out and disappear. Thankfully, no black holes are known to spin quite this fast, even if it's technically possible. And new research shows that naked singularities might be easier to identify than previously thought. If they do exist, they probably behave much differently than other black holes, and may therefore emit much brighter light. The only way to get to the bottom of the mystery is for scientists to advance their knowledge and for technology to become more sophisticated. Number 6. Aralsk 7 The Aral Sea was once the world's fourth largest inland sea, but it began shrinking during the 1960s due to a Soviet irrigation project that diverted the rivers that fed it. By 2010, the sea had all but disappeared. All that's left of it today are a few small lakes. Before the Aral Sea dried up, it was home to a 77-square-mile island that straddled the border between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Known as Vuzrashdenya Island, it is the former site of a top-secret Soviet biological weapons testing site. Known as Aralsk-7, it was built in 1948. There were numerous highly deadly bioweapons tested here, including anthrax, smallpox, plague, brucellosis, and tularemia. Aralsk-7 was undoubtedly dangerous, but you didn't need to go there to be exposed to the deadly diseases that its staff experimented with. In 1971, the facility accidentally released weaponized smallpox into the air. Ten people were infected and three died. Around 50,000 nearby residents were inoculated during a mass vaccination that ensued, and the incident was kept largely hidden from the public for years to come. The site closed when the Soviet Union fell in 1991. In the following weeks, around 1,500 residents were evacuated. Today, the site remains littered with the island's abandoned structures, which are filled with containers of hazardous chemicals that were stored improperly and left behind. Some of the containers have sprung leaks, and it's extremely dangerous, potentially fatal even, for anyone to go there. At least 10 anthrax burial sites have been decontaminated as part of an ongoing cleanup effort, but more work needs to be done. Number 5. Lethal Gas Cloud to the villagers living along Lake Neos in Cameroon, August 21, 1986, seemed like any other day. That changed on a moment's notice when a deadly cloud of carbon dioxide started spewing from the lake, turning its typically blue water a deep crimson red. With no time to escape the enroaching gas, at least 1,746 people and 3,500 livestock suffocated to death. The disaster may have been caused by a natural event, such as a landslide, a small earthquake, or an underwater volcanic eruption. It alerted locals and experts alike to the previously unknown hazards lurking beneath the lake, and the potential for a deadly event to happen again. Scientists investigated Lake Neos and learned that it's fed by underground springs that are capable of transporting dangerous gases to the lake bed where they accumulate, sometimes for centuries at a time before being released into the atmosphere. While researchers don't know what triggered the deadly outgassing in 1986, it's clear that it could happen again, so they made it a priority to understand the dynamics behind the disaster and hopefully stop history from repeating itself. In the meantime, a degassing system that reduces the water CO2 content was installed in Lake Neos to prevent another tragedy. Number 4. Dragon's Hole Blue holes are underwater caverns or sinkholes that form during ice ages. In 2016, China announced the discovery of the world's largest blue hole in the South China Sea. Nicknamed the Dragon's Hole, and more formally known as the Yongle Blue Hole, it's located near the Paracel Islands. Locals simply refer to it as the Eye. At a depth of 987 feet, the Yongle Blue Hole vastly supersedes its runner-up, the 663-foot deep Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas. Researchers considered several factors when calculating its depth, including tidal water levels, water temperatures, salt levels, and sea water density. They plan to further explore the Yongle Blue Hole, but have acknowledged that they don't expect to find much past a certain depth because the water contains little to no oxygen and therefore can't support much life. 
Blue holes are popular diving attractions, but venturing into one can be extremely dangerous even for the most experienced divers. The deeper one goes, the colder the water gets. This can shock the system, and depending on the location, soft materials like sand can cave in suddenly. Deep dives also put people at risk of a condition called nitrogen narcosis, which can severely impair judgment. As a result, a diver with this condition might descend too deep without realizing that they're endangering their life. Number 3. Centralia Mine Fire Centralia, Pennsylvania is a ghost town. As of 2017, only a handful of people lived there, but it was once a bustling coal mining town with a peak population of 1,500 residents. So what happened? In 1962, a coal seam fire ignited in Centralia's underground mines. To this day, nobody knows what caused it exactly, but it's believed that illegal dumping may have played a role. Numerous attempts to control or extinguish the blaze failed, and the fire continued to grow. The state got involved and closed the mines for good after detecting lethal carbon monoxide levels. At first, people were unaware of the dangers that the fire posed. In fact, they continued living in Centralia for decades after the disaster started, but the effects became impossible to ignore when gas filled people's basements, their homes began to tilt, and they experienced health problems. Sinkholes appeared and smoke spewed from cracks in the road. The government brought out Centralia's residents in 1992 via eminent domain and condemned the area. Seven residents won the legal right to remain there, but everyone else left and nobody is allowed to move there. Centralia's zip code was discontinued in 2002, and when the remaining residents pass away, their homes will become government property. Authorities have given up on extinguishing the blaze, which experts estimate could burn for at least another 250 years. Number 2. Contaminated but legal drinking water Tap water is supposed to be safe to drink, but a new study reveals that it doesn't always live up to that standard. A clean water advocacy organization called the Environmental Working Group recently released the disturbing results of an analysis of drinking water contaminants in the U.S. The findings identified 56 new contaminants that appeared since the last analysis just two years ago. Chemicals that are known to cause a host of health problems including cancer, reproductive issues, liver disease, and more are alarmingly present throughout the country. An estimated 100 million people are affected by the presence of these substances, which include a newly identified class of toxic industrial chemicals. The list includes pesticides, radioactive materials, and disinfectant byproducts, things people would never knowingly put into their bodies. But that's not the worst news. EWG senior scientist Tasha Stoiber told The Guardian that if regulations were as strict as she believes they should be, the list would be much longer. In other words, the potentially dangerous chemicals in American tap water are not limited to the ones identified in the study. Stoiber also pointed out that regulations are established too slowly and that laws aren't keeping up with the dangerous materials that end up in drinking water. For example, the Environmental Protection Agency only started testing for a chemical called HAA-9 after studies connected it to a low birth rate. Until then, HAA-9 was considered safe, and who knows how many people guzzled it down, unaware of the risks associated with it. It doesn't look like the legislative process to impose new regulations will speed up anytime soon. So the most people can do is educate themselves about what's in their local water supply and buy a filter to make it as safe as possible. In the meantime, it wouldn't hurt to nudge lawmakers in the right direction by advocating for heightened safety standards. Number 1. World War II Bomb in 2020, a strange artifact appeared on a beach in England near the seaside town of Weston Super Mare. A Royal Navy bomb disposal team reported to the site along the Bristol Channel after receiving reports of an unidentified object in the sand. The item in question turned out to be a World War II era anti submarine explosive. During the war, there was a weapons research facility nearby, which could perhaps explain how it ended up on the beach. The team carefully dug around the bomb and determined that it could be live. Fearing that it could explode unpredictably in the water conditions at the time, they waited until low tide and then safely detonated the device. 
World War II bombs have turned up in Europe and elsewhere plenty of times, so it's unlikely that this discovery will be the last of its kind. This also raises concerns about whether anyone will ever get hurt by handling one of these devices out of curiosity, not realizing it could be dangerous or by accidentally going near one without realizing it's there. To avoid compromising civilian safety, experts are the only people who should go near an artifact that they don't recognize. Professionals encourage the public not to touch anything that looks suspicious or that they may not recognize. Thanks for watching. What's the most dangerous thing you ever discovered? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. See you next time. Bye.